Stéphane Etier, consultant at Desjardins, and Franck Escoubès, founder of Imagination for People. Uh, was built 
around uh, three engineers, and uh, we think that in order for me to succeed, we need to um, we need to call in more uh, different knowledge, uh, various knowledge, and the four people is the third uh, is the third priority in uh, in our solution. And uh, we know so this this solution has three challenges, but the the <coughs> the good thing is that uh, Sensorica has already one product, Mosquito, and we think that the best strategy, the starting point of our strategy, would be uh, to uh, find a way to leverage this product and start building from there. And Giovanni is going to talk about the marketing strategy for the Mosquito product. Thank you. Um, so we have uh, two objectives here. The big objective is to make the uh, Sensorica uh, <coughs> network grow and make it sustainable. And the, this is the long-term big objective. And the smaller objective here is how to do it through uh, selling uh, the, the selling mosquito, um, because if we can su succeed in selling mosquito, um, more and more people are going to know about who's behind mosquito and who's behind mosquito is sensorica. So uh, it will increase the awareness about sensorica, and this will attract new members in the network. So how do we sell mosquito, knowing that we have a big constraint here, uh, which is of course the fact that the company has no cash. Um, so we try to um, model a solution that takes into account this constraint. From the market point of view, um, you know, we want to uh, tackle to stay in Montreal, stay in the Quebec area, because it still has a lot of potential. It still has a lot of companies here uh, that uh, can potentially be interested in, uh, in, in the mosquito product. Um, we know it. We're here, we can make business trips, and it's, so it's cheap and fast. Uh, regarding the industries, we should still focus on the research, uh, the, the research companies, um, which is, of course, uh, customers, which are, of course, customers that we already know. Uh, so we already have some knowledge. Then we need to find some sales force. Of course, Sensorica, Sensorica's members, they're engineers, they don't have time, and they, they, they need to spend a lot of time in. Uh, customizing the product for the customers, so they, they don't really have time to go and look for new customers, and so they need to find Salesforce. And as Sophie is going to talk about you know, how uh, uh, and who are you know our our Salesforce regarding the price. So sorry, has to keep the low price uh, because we need we really need to enlarge our customer base. Uh, and if we enlarge our customer base, then it's going to be easier uh, to to sell them. Uh, the, the next system of products as soon as the Sensorica network grows and we're going to be able to build to build into this, net, this uh, ecosystem. Regarding the brand, remember the big, big, uh, you know, the big challenge and the long-term objective, which is growing the network. So we need uh, the, we need the mosquito to be commercialized, make mosquito, the mosquito brand small, and make the Sensorica brand big, so that everybody knows about Sensorica, who's behind it. And regarding the budget, well, we have you know modeled this solution which is super super cheap. So for for now, it's cheap, it's free, and uh, and so is going to talk about why it's free. So we have learned that Sensorica is uh, basically in a market, a high potential market. It um, it has uh, a good product, and there are customers. But as an any startup. What, what about the people? Because th the point is that Sensorica has not enough members. So, in the short, run, short term, they should focus on surviving. Surviving implies that um, the product, which they have, the mosquito product, needs to be um, uh, sold in the market. And this requires certain skills, which not exist in the, um, in, in the network so far. In the long term, um, Sensori needs to grow, grow. The objective is to grow. And how do they grow? By enlarging their members. Members 
not only of one type of the specification, but for example, uh, research and engineers, but also, um, for example, sales and marketing. So how do, um, or who are the persons to address who have these, who might be interested to join this kind of environment? It's the culture within which is special. It's about the entrepreneurial spirit. So the people who need to be, to, uh, to be addressed need to have these kind of um, um, needs to needs to uh, they, they need to have the spirit um, of learning, developing uh, new things, and um, and where do we find them? Young graduates. So Sensorica should be present in online forums, Facebook. LinkedIn, but also other emerging network, networks. But um, not only this, more importantly, um, they should uh, be, be present face to face, meaning in universities, talking to young graduates, explaining the special environment um, and culture uh, Sensorica or the network of Sensorica provides. Um, not only this, they also need to, um, to, to create the incentive for new members to join and the incentive for, um, um, for the existing members to contribute, to acti actively co contribute. There are many um, factors which need to be considered. I, I only want to point out to the second one, which is to create a new and open and easy to understand environment to support the exchange of information within the network. But on, not only this, it is also important that they change um, the existing value accounting system. Because so far, the value accounting system is based on only one type of member, the engineers, the creative people. But what about the other types which they need in order to basically distribute their products in the market? So this leads me to the, to the next point, the revenue model of, um, of uh, uh, Sensorica, which Michael is going to be to explain. Thank you. We all know how Sensorica is doing, so there is this engineer that takes loans and uh, proposes ID on the network, the network helping to build his, his ID. Then um, they go to the marketing, um, thanks to Giovanni and to and Sophie, we, can, we will find the marketing to sell our product. Then where is the problem? Is that the, the sales, we never done any sales with uh, this network. So we have to be really sure on how we will uh, split our revenue. And our revenue will be split in four parts. The people that um, help <coughs> the network, the people that sell, and the engineer. The engineer must be rewarded in uh, function of the risk he pay. If he has a loan, he must be more rewarded than if he has a grant, because he takes more risk, a personal risk. So the model has to take this in account, and this was the problem where uh, we made some change. Then there is the right path for you. Um, the money that um, Sensorica take and put in this, his entity. His entity put back in the network and let the network decide one thing. The most, maybe the most important thing is that they let decide if the failure will be reward. What is interesting here is that we know that a failure are good, but it's the first model where failure are rewarded. So you can improve and you will uh, go forward because if you made a failure, you will come back on this network because you say I was rewarded and I will continue to uh, share my ID and be helped by um, other people. Then if we, because with this uh, model we have the mosquito money, we can reinject it and then the the big point is to be self, um, to be sustainable, and so we can make a lot of money. Then, what are the next steps? The three main steps are this one. But before doing this next step, 
you can not do this overnight. What you can do overnight is finding the salespeople. Otherwise, the dream will be over. Thank you very much. Thank you.